This is Thomas J. Seaborn Photography showing you another way that you can stack your star trail images using Photoshop. I have set up a link on my website where you can download the images that I use in this tutorial if you wish to follow along. So let's just go ahead and kind of review what we did in the last video. Uh, in the last video I used Photoshop Extended uh, and the statistics tool set to maximum to digitally stack our star trails. As I mentioned in that video, it's important that all of your images that you are going to stack have the same universal settings applied to them via Camera Raw and that the exposure is equal across the series of images. So let's go ahead and open these up from Adobe Camera Raw. We're going to open with Photoshop. It's not in there. Let's just hit open then. It's probably the default anyway. So as your images load, we have five images here across the top up here in our display board. Uh, in the previous video, we had gone to file uh, uh, statistics down over here, but as you can see in uh, the non-Photoshop extent, we don't have that. But it's okay. There's another way to do it that gets pretty much the same results. Uh, I like to use this because it's quicker. Is just hitting load files into a stack. What the hell? Apparently my computer does not like the amount of memory I'm eating up right now. Uh, where were we? We were here. We were going to go to scripts to load our uh, star trail series into a stack of images. So we're going to hit load files into a stack. So it's asking us to load two or more files to load into an image stack. So we're going to have files, add open files. You can see now that we have our five images. Uh, here's a box that says attempt to automatically line source images. If you set your camera up correctly on a nice sturdy tripod, you will not need to check automatically aligned source images. If for some reason you run it and things don't line up properly, then you can rerun it with that box checked. So here we go. We're going to click OK. And over here you can see it loading those layers into a stack for us. Now in this mode, by using that method of loading the files into a stack, uh, we don't necessarily have a background image. So you can really just click on any one of these. Right now, 46 is our uh, the top image of our layer. So we'll leave uh, 50 as our background layer. So then all you need to do to reveal your star trails is go up to your blending mode, which is currently set to normal, and then switch all but one of your layers to lighten. So there we go. You can see that uh, our star trails just increased in size before, after. Here I'll zoom in for you. Uh, before, after, or after, and then before. So then let's go to the next image, change its blending mode to lighten, and our star trails will grow like Pinocchio's nose, telling a lie. And there you go. Let's zoom back out here. So again, this is kind of our before with none of those layers visible. And then as we add those layers that have been set to lighten, our star trails grow. Um, you can see here that it's kind of looking uh, kind of jagged. I really don't know why my monitor sometimes shows it as uh, that nasty Morse code looking star trails. But if you see when I zoom in, it, it goes away, except for over here. But that could be just because I'm using a lower quality JPEG. So there you go. Then from there, uh, you'd want to go up here to layer, flatten your image, and then you would be done. Um, it's nice too with uh, when you use the file, load files into a stack, is that you get a new image and you don't change any of the original files. Uh, you could also go back through and do it this way too. You'd get the same exact results and it takes just a little bit longer. So I don't know why you'd want to do it, but maybe you're using a much older version of Photoshop. Uh, let's not save. So what you would do is pick your background image from whichever one maybe you like the best. Actually, it doesn't really matter because you're going to get the same results anyway. Uh, you go up here to your selection tool. You would just 
control C and then control V all of your images onto this uh, background layer. So let's go to this next one. Control C, control V, you can see that uh, it pretty much does the exact same thing. So there you go, that's the, uh, the Lighten uh, method for creating digitally stacked star trail images in Photoshop. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to visit my website right now for a limited time. I have my Creating Star Trail Images book there for free. Uh, thanks for checking out my video. I'll see you guys later.